Thank you for viewing this short video about preparing an Android device for data collection. Due to the numerous manufacturers for Android phones and tablets, each device and their menu options can vary. The goal is to place the Android into USB debugging mode to allow the device to communicate and share its data. In this demonstration, we are using a Samsung phone. Although the device screen you are acquiring might look different, the steps will be similar. First, Unlock the device and place it in airplane mode. Airplane mode can be found in the Settings app. After turning airplane mode on, a small airplane icon will appear at the top of the screen. Second, scroll down the Settings menu and look for Developer Options or Development. Some devices have this menu option hidden, which is the case for this model. In order to reveal Developer Options, Go to About Device and find the build number. For this model, the build number is located in Software Info. Tap on the build number seven times and Developer Options will appear in the Settings menu. This model requires us to switch Developer Options on by moving the toggle to the right and tapping OK. Some devices do not require this step. You will just need to scroll down and locate USB Debugging. The third step is to turn on USB debugging and tap OK. You are now ready to attach the device to your computer. We recommend using the manufacturer cable or a high quality data transfer cable. Blackbag software simply requires a cable that is capable of both data transfer and charging. Cables provided by other forensic tools are often made specifically for that tool and cannot be used. Once you have a good connection between the device and the computer, an RSA key notification will appear on the screen. The last step is to select the box next to Always Allow from this computer and then tap OK. After the RSA key fingerprint has been authorized, you can start a collection of the Android device. If you do not get an RSA key notification, it is possible you might need a specific driver for that device or you might need to switch connection type from MTP to PTP. Troubleshooting tips can be found on our website by going to the Resources menu and selecting Android Resources.